Hey guys, what's up? My name is Cassie. If you are new to my channel, thanks for joining. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you have not. I hope that you will enjoy this quick tutorial on how to print out the Honey Bee Shop Digitals using a Cricut Explore Air 2. So I am new to this. Just going to preface, I just got my Cricut for Christmas and I was able to, after much trial and error, print out a few of the Honey Bee Shop Digitals and I had someone ask me how I did it with my particular Cricut. And so I figured I would share with you guys. So if you are a subscriber to the Honey Bee Shop Babe Box, I'm sure you are aware that not only do you get the physical products every month in the mail, but you also get the digital files, which is so convenient um, and just such a great thing to have. And there was something, you know, before I got my Cricut, I was using the digitals for like making, you know, um, wallpapers for my phone and for my computer and for, you know, sometimes I would print them and, and laminate certain things. You know, I didn't have a, uh, a Cricut or any way to cut out actual stickers. I had sticker paper so I could hand cut, which is what I've been doing. Um, but now that I have a Cricut, it's like, oh man, now I can... I can actually print these and make my own stickers when I run out. So just to show uh, a quick example, I'm going to go back here to the September Bay box, which was Personality Crisis 2. Uh, that was my favorite so far since I've been a subscriber. This was actually my very first Bay box. So I'm going to, well, here, let me, <laughs> let's back up. Okay. So I'm here in Cricut Design Space and I am on the Windows version. I also have the app on my phone, but I have not used that to create anything other than the first like example project that they give you, you know, when you when you first get your credit and they walk you through it. But I'm here in the design space and over here to the left, I went to upload and then upload image. And now I'm going to navigate to my digital babe box files that I have saved and just pick a few that I would like to print. This is one of my all time favorites. I mean, look at it. Um, so I definitely want to print another one of those. Maybe we'll do a hand. So I think I have to do it one at a time. Yes, yeah, so I have to do it one at a time. So I'm going to select this one here. And then it's going to ask you to select your image type. I've been just doing complex. Um, I mean, honestly, this one is probably more like moderately complex. I mean, it shows you the different like image examples. And basically like the more fine detail that you have is, you know, more, it's more complex. I've just been choosing complex and it seems to work. So that's what I'm going with. This part is very important. So if you wanted to say, you just wanted to cut out a particular shape. If you had like a photo, you know, a file of like a heart or something, and you wanted to print out just the shape and kind of cut out the shape, as you can see here, you would click save as a cut image. So it would actually cut out a hole in your paper. That could be very, you know, useful for making like cards and stuff so that maybe the front would have like a cutout in it. But for this, we want to save as a print then cut. In. And of course, a, a giant helicopter is going by. So if you hear that, I apologize. So I'm going to name this image. So make sure we stay organized. I'm going to call this cute purple bat bag. And now I'm just going to upload a couple more of my favorites. I'm going to choose complex again, make sure all the details are there. Save as print and then cut. I love this one too. This might be one of my favorites. I just love the jacket. All right, so that gives us, you know, three to start with. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select all three of these just by clicking on them and click insert images. Now I already had that open, so that's why that's there. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of her. And now you can see it places the images right here on the canvas. And obviously um, you can look here at the ruler and tell that this is quite large. <laughs> we don't want her to be that big, but what's great is that you can resize it. And you see, because it is a, you know, a very high quality file, um, it's, you can resize it pretty big and um, it will you know, keep all the detail. And I, I just love that Shan provides these for, for us, for people like myself who can't draw very well. Uh, <laughs> it's very nice to be able to print cute things. Um, 
yeah anyway okay so first you're, you're going to want to decide you know what size you want your sticker to be now if you don't have any sticker paper I just happen to have some lying around. So that's why I said, oh, let me print some stickers. If you don't have sticker paper and you just have some regular paper, you can print on that. And then, you know, you could use a tape runner. You could just have it as like a cute little die cut to like put in your pocket. If you have a laminator, you could print on regular paper and laminate. Um, so you don't have to have sticker paper. You know, that would just be something um, that you could play around with if you just wanted to test it out on your Cricut. Maybe you don't have sticker paper right now, but you just want to cut it out and maybe use as decoration or you can always use a tape runner or a good old glue stick. So first is deciding how big you want your sticker to be. And I'm thinking I want to print this out and put it um, on my like intro page. I'm working on an intro page for my 2021 planner. So I want it to be fairly big, but not too big. So I'm thinking about four inches tall. And it automatically keeps it proportionate so you don't have to worry. And you see up here where this little lock is, that's where if you wanted to, I'll just show you if you click the unlock, then you can do like that. But typically you're not gonna wanna do that. So we're just gonna keep it like it is. So that one I'm gonna make about four inches tall because I do want it to be um, a decent size for that page. Now this is a little purse, so I want it to be smaller. So I think, About an inch and a half is pretty good for that. I want to make it big enough so that I can, you know, still like see it well because it's so cute. And then for this one, I think I might make her a little smaller because I just printed one of these the other day that was about four inches tall. So I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller just to use. Not exactly sure where, but to use somewhere. And I'm just going to place these. Now you wanna make sure you place it in the upper left-hand corner. And then as far as these, um, you can just kind of place them, you know, next to them here. You can put them down here and I'll show you in a second what it, what it does. Okay, so if these are the three stickers you wanna print. Now, obviously with the Cricut, it is not a printer, it is a cutting machine. So you will have to have a printer um, to print this first and then cut it. And so what I'm going to do is go here to make it in the upper right hand corner. Okay, and then you can see it just kind of automatically lays out the images for you. And for this, I'm just going to it looks good. I'm going to hit continue. And then the first step is print. So print images on a printer of your choice. So I already have my sticker paper loaded in. So I'm going to hit print. Now this part here, I again, I just got my Cricut, so I'm still playing around. But I uncheck add bleed because when I was doing that, I just was running into a couple issues. Okay, so this is future Cassie. I am printing some more. And this time I selected add bleed, whereas before I chose not to. So I thought maybe that would give me a cleaner cut with these. Um, you know, with this, it's a lot of trial and error. Like on the um, stickers I was printing earlier, having the bleed was messing it up, but I figured I would try this, see if we get a little bit of a cleaner cut. So let's see. And then I'm going to use system dialog, which just means it's going to bring up the printer menu like for my actual printer here in Windows. So it's gonna bring this up because I wanna make sure that I have. Now, there is no option on my printer here for sticker paper, but what I do is I go to photo papers and matte, matte photo paper because I do have matte sticker paper and it seems to work out pretty well. And then I'm going to hit print. Okay. And then I'm going to go turn my Cricut on, and then I will show you how to do the rest of this. So after you print, then you're going to put that um, piece of paper on your Cricut mat, load it into your Cricut. I'm going to show you how to do that and how it can actually cut out your stickers. It's, I'm, still, I'm still amazed that I have this in my house, just amazed. Okay, so once you have printed on this, in my case, I'm doing sticker paper, you want to peel off this clear thing on your mat. 
and stick it right there on the upper left hand corner. It's very important that you put it there. Then we're gonna go back to our computer. Okay, so once your Cricut is connected, you've printed, then you're gonna move on to this step, which is set base material. For this, I had to go in and manually add it. So you can hit browse all materials. And obviously there's a million and three things on here to choose from. I just searched sticker. And then I did the printable sticker paper white because that's what I have. And so the dial on your Cricut for the Explorer Air 2, um, you're just gonna put it on custom. And then that's where you can the custom material and that's where you set it on printable sticker paper here in the design space. So my Cricut already, it came like this. I'm sure yours will too. The blade is already here on B. So you don't have to do anything with that. All you have to do is line this up here, make sure that the mat is under these little tabs here. Hit this button. There we go. So you have to just make sure that it moves under the roller here, that you can't pull it out. And then hit start. And we watch the magic happen. So it's going to take a minute here to scan and it's going to, you know, use that black border around to determine where to cut. And with any luck, it should cut out the shapes of those stickers and we will have matte stickers to put in our planner. Okay, and once it is done, you just have to hit the load and unload button to release the mat. And then I'm gonna peel off the sticker paper. Now you can see that the alignment is off just a hair, and I've been I've been having this this issue with a few different things. I'm not sure what exactly is going on. Okay, the verdict. Make sure you choose add bleed when printing these because that is a much cleaner cut than the one I did before. I made this one a little bit bigger as well, just so it would be a little different. All right, guys, that is it. That is my beginner's tutorial on how to cut out the Honeybee Shop digitals on sticker paper and then cut out using your Cricut. Again, I have the Explore Air 2. I just got it. I just started playing with it yesterday and I am just, I'm in love. So I apologize for any, you know, if I made any mistakes, if you have any um, tips for me, I welcome them because I am very new. Like I said, you can see the alignments off just a little bit. Maybe it has something to do with bleed um, that I didn't select add bleed. So anyway, but that is how to do it. I'm super happy with them and I'm gonna put them in my planner. I think they're adorable. And I'm so happy to be able to do this at home. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below telling me, you know, do you have a Cricut? How do you use it? Do you have any tips? Do you, you know, what do you do with the digitals from Honeybee Shop? Just anything. I want to hear from you guys. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see what I upload next. And I will see you next time.